shifting focus to debate two. The deadlock continued in Parliament a day after the Rashpatni controversy sparked by Congress MP Adhiranjan Chaudhary. Along with that controversy, the Congress has accused the BJP of heckling Sonia Gandhi. The Congress protested in front of Parliament and sought an apology from the BJP, while the Saffron Party wants an apology from the Congress President for Chaudhary's remarks against the President. Union Ministers Priti Rani and Nirmala Sita Raman led the charge against the Congress, calling the party Mahila, Dalit and Adivasi Virodhi, adding that the statement exposes a sexist mindset against a self-made woman. Meanwhile, Congress MPs wrote to the Lok Sabha Speaker accusing BJP MPs of misbehaving with Sonia Gandhi, demanding that the matter be referred to the Committee of Privileges. This comes after the suspension storm of 24 opposition MPs. But in the middle of this political firestorm, the biggest loser is us, the Aam Admi, as there is no movement on legislation and 2.5 lakh of Taxpayers' money is wasted every minute the, uh, the, parliament session, the parliament is in session and that is as per 2012 records. So whose responsibility is it to break the deadlock now? And joining me now, Shahzad pa Poonawala, spokesperson of the BJP. Dhirendra Pratap Singh is a spokesperson of the Congress. Reena Gupta, representing the Ahmadi Party. Shahzad, the government also doesn't seem too keen on uh, letting the House function, is evident now. Yesterday, Pralad Joshi, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister, stood up in Parliament and said, we are always ready for a debate. In fact, if you are ready, the opposition is ready, forget tomorrow, forget today, come right now, let's start the debate. But unfortunately, in the name of opposition, some people have decided that parliament should become a forum for vivad, not samvad. It should become a forum for dharna, not debate. It should become a forum for confrontation, not consensus. And this is because they oppose everything. Now look at the Aam Aadmi Party. They talk about price rise and mehengai. Here is an order of Arvind Kejriwal. He signed it and gave it to LG, saying that please raise the fees of young, poor children in private institutions. The LG said, no, nothing doing. I will not do this, Anyai with the young children of Delhi. So this is their double speak. The but, Congress but, party but don't you talks think about Meng and uh, uh, just suspension, suspension of 24 MPs is also disproportionate. Is it the first time, Maria, you've been covering parliament for at least 10 years now or more than that? Uh, let me tell you, 2013, 9 MPs suspended. 2010, 7 MPs suspended. 2012, 8 MPs suspended. I can go on. There is a history of suspensions. Parliament is a place which we consider and everyone should consider as a temple of democracy. There are rules, procedures, no, protocols. No, but owners of running the parliament is always on the treasury benches. Well, Has it, any effort been made by the government to break this deadlock? According Has, to... Ha, have your hmm. ministers... Walked across the aisle to meet uh, the uh, opposition leaders to break this deadlock. Uh, uh, Maria, first of all, this is a tweet by Jairam Ramesh. Jairam Ramesh says, Opposition led by Congress got the Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day. He, in fact, is proud of the fact that Parliament did not discuss issues of importance, but rather he got the uh, entire discussion adjourned for the day. This is because they are interested in television, disruption and obstruction, okay. Rina, whereas we are saying I'm, let's I'm have conversation. I'm looking at those images Just one last of, of MPs of, uh, you know, Ahmadi Party, that is uh, Sanjay Singh, they have spent 50 hours in parliament, uh, even, you know, protesting in front of gate number one of parliament and sleeping on the floor as well. Very uh, elaborate menu also. Well, uh, <laughs> so those are the visuals that are coming in, Reena Gupta. Uh, but Reena, you know, there has to be efforts that have to be made by both the sides. Opposition also seems to be too adamant on, on, on perhaps disruption. We are seeing MPs, uh, you know, stand with those placards, storm the well of the house, even tear papers and throw on the chair. So this kind of disruption is also something that will not be acceptable. 
Madhya, before the start of the parliament, there's a meeting of the business advisory committee, and it was agreed in the meeting of the business advisory committee that there should be a discussion on GST and price rise. The government agreed and then they refused to hold that discussion. That is the reason why the opposition MPs, including the MPs of Amadmi Party, raised this issue. Maria, right now, economy is in doldrums, unemployment is on a 45 year high, inflation is the highest. And, you know, the, the whole country is going through a really tough time. Those parliamentarians right, represent the country. And the main issue facing the country right now is inflation and Mangai. And if the government of the day is not ready to discuss this issue, also, Maria, they don't believe in taking any suggestions either from specialists or from the opposition. They did the same thing during the farm bill. They unconstitutionally passed those farm bills by, by a voice vote. And then we saw that the whole, uh, you know, the whole farmers movement happened and so many farmers okay. lost their lives. Okay. And in the end, they had to ten cancel days. the farmers. Ten, oh, days, the uh, 10 days have passed, Shahzad Punawala. Mm -hmm. And in these 10 days, there has been absolutely no work because the opposition keeps on demanding discussion on price rise and GST. Why is the government running away from these discussions? Uh, Maria, in fact, they say one thing in the BAC and then when they come on the floor of the house, the real issue becomes lion ke daat kyu dik rahe, Sonia Gandhi pe ED kyu haavi ho chuki hai aur kyu aap joh hai, hume joh hai manmani kar rahe nahi de rahe, dekho papers. Nii, lion ke daat to session se pehle hi kama. No, I tell you, last time they raised this issue, ki my Mr. Kharge was not given proper seat. Then they removed an issue that uh, by word ban ho gaya. So now I'm asking you, Maria, if they are serious about unemployment, we are saying, come, let's discuss unemployment. 29% in Rajasthan. And Arvind Kejival said, 10 lakhs jobs dunga, 3,246 have been given. We are saying, let's go pr discuss price size. I just showed you about how they were trying to increase the price of uh, education in Delhi. These people uh, we, uh, in Rajasthan is the highest price of petrol. In Uttar Pradesh is 95, it's in Rajasthan is 106 rupees. In Maharashtra, when they were in power, they did not cut one rupee of VAT in petrol. We are ready to have discussion because they will get exposed. They come to parliament, they say outside on television, we have to price par karni hai. and okay. inside they come and they okay. have a completely okay. different uh, <laughs> approach. Reena, Let me give you one example. I'm, I'm, Let yeah. me give you one example, okay. just one example. Quickly, she spoke about farm laws. The the first government to notify those farm laws was Delhi government. Okay. The first government. Okay. Reena, is this double speak? Maria, you know, in the whole country, 18 states are managed by BJP or their coalition. You know, if economy is in bad shape, unemployment is highest, inflation is highest, it is not the two or three opposition ruled states that are responsible. For God's sakes, they are running the country and they keep talking about Arvind Kejriwal, we are, we are managing two small states. The country is in bad shape because they don't know how to run the economy. They don't know how to manage inflation. All they know is to how give money to the crony capitalists. They have written off 11 lakh crores of NPAs. You know, that is the reason why now GST is so high because they have but to make Reena, up... Reena, will you also not accept that opposition is also...